You know, we here in Louisiana are always looking for a reason to celebrate. We celebrate weddings, birthdays, and of course, Mardi Gras. But now we have a real reason to celebrate the biggest party ever. The Louisiana World Exposition, or the World's Fair, whatever you want to call it, is six months of entertainment, food, and good old New Orleans fun. And there's fun for kids of all ages, right? So come on, everyone, let's celebrate. World's Fair in New Orleans. It's George Burns, Irma Thomas, Frank Sinatra Jr., Chef Paul Prudhomme, Vin Bruce and the Acadians, the Chinese National Acrobatic Troupe, and Celebration 84. Now, here's tonight's special host, Mr. Pete Fountain. Welcome to the New Orleans World's Fair and Celebration 84. This is the first show from the fair, and each week we'll bring you some of the best of the fair has to offer. So let's start this celebration with a little trip. Come on! Celebration 84 is brought to you tonight by... It's the World's Fair, and you can too. We want to tell you about a terrific offer from McDonald's. Enjoy all the excitement and wonder of the World's Fair with 10% off an adult admission ticket when purchased at the fair. 26 countries from six continents, the monorail, the Ferris wheel, the food, the fireworks. You can get your 10% off coupon with any purchase from an area McDonald's. It's a great deal. It's from McDonald's. Lesson Chevrolet. On At Centennial Plaza, a neighborhood built to commemorate the 1884 Cotton Exposition held in Alderman Park in Uptown New Orleans 100 years ago. The show opened and then closed, but here's a show that opened and closed thousands of times and just seems to go on forever. Mr. George Burns. I would do most anything you do, but please don't take me. I'm not going. You can't make me. Yes, I'm staying. Please, please, don't take me. Finish it. Good. There we are. Ask me, how old am I? 88. See, that I know. <laughs> when I'm 100 years old, I'm playing the Palladium Theater. I'm booked there for two weeks in London. I'll have Bob Hope, who will then be 92. I'll have all these young kids like Milton Berle, Bob Hope, Red Buttons, everybody over 90. It was very easy for us. Like, when we, when we were in Bordeaux, we talked. And then radio came in and we talked. Then television came in and we talked. And here I am, I'm 88 and I'm still talking. So it was very, it was very tough for dumb acts. You know what dumb acts are, dumb acts, animal acts. Mm -hmm. See, when radio came in, they couldn't get a job like Powers Elephants, uh, Madam's, uh, uh, Madam Burkhardt and her cockatoo, Swain's Cats and Rats. Those animals had, had nothing to eat. The last time I played here was at the um, Orpheum Theater in 1926. They must have liked me because here it is 58 years later and I'm back. <laughs> Like most people everywhere, I've had nowhere to care. What my shot the Western world is, I don't even care. But it's the only way to go. It's the only dream I know. 
I'm contented just to be uncomplicated me. So don't dig in me deep for what you get is what you see. I'm the only man you'll find who has nothing on his mind. So please play it in my key and watch my dreams become real. Oh no, please don't go. I want to tell you how happy I feel. I've got nothing much to lose, never get the blues. When you've been around as long as me, then everything's good news. It's the only way to go. It's the only dream I know. So keep on playing it in my key and watch my dreams become real. Oh, no, please, please don't go. I want to tell you how happy I feel. We'll be happy till we die, my lovely dreams and I. Relax until they take us to the stage up in the sky. It's the only way to go. It's the only dream I know. World's Fair means just that, entertainment from around the world. And now here's some more fancy footwork from the Chinese National Acrobatic Troupe.
Get a McDonald's. The food, and you'll find just about any kind of food and entertainment your heart desires and your stomach desires right here. How's about this recipe? One famous chef, one famous singer, and an old New Orleans dish. Frank Sinatra Jr., Chef Paul Prudhomme, and well, here's what you get. Here we are in historic old New Orleans, the Crescent City, and we have cooked up, by the way, everyone, so that you can meet this man. I'm going to stand over here out the way. A wonderful gumbo indeed right now. With pleasure. I present America's premier chef, Paul Prudhomme. He's right here. The man is in the paper all the time. Hello, Chief. Good to see you. Thank you. Now, you got... Uh, it seems that it seems everybody locally here knows you quite well. But would you could you guess what this man does for a living? Now what do you that's, got for? That's it? the way it's going to be tonight, huh? Right. <laughs> <laughs> we got a, a dish that you made, isn't it? Join yeah, the well, American dish. Well, we'd, you know, we'd like to thank everybody in America for joining us, Frank, and to celebrate this decade and to celebrate the new New Orleans World Fair. Right you are. Everybody make sure you come down here, by the way, and see everything wonderful that's going on at the fair. But uh, just now, for the fun of it, how about uh, you give us, uh, you know, a couple of entrees uh, served here tonight down in the French Quarter. Tell me about it. Well, we do, uh, we do some hot cooking in the French Quarter, like to do down and up and down Bourbon Street and at Pete's Place here at Reunion Hall. One of the things we do is call a black and red fish. And we take a red fish and make it black. Take a red fish and make it black? Yeah. We apply a lot of heat to it. And that's, a, that's, one of our, that's one of our really, really popular dishes. And of course, we know here we eat crawfish. We yes, love I know, right. crawfish. Yeah. Any kind of way. And probably the most popular thing we do is crawfish etouffee. Well, now, wait, wait just a minute, Paul. You want to tell me you've, you've omitted something I haven't heard yet. I didn't hear no red beans and rice in there. No, we only smothered in a little bitty crawfish. No red beans and rice? I think red beans and rice. It's got to be on a wash day, and that's Monday. And of course, today oh. and Monday. Well, now, wait just a minute now. My uncle, Phil Harris, heard that. He'd be very disappointed. You, mean, Let me... you, you got some red beans and rice? Oh, have we ever got some red beans and rice? All you people, listen, I tell you a little story about this neck of the woods. Here we go, Paul. Take this here. Red beans and rice. Red beans and rice. Everybody's ordering about watering red beans and rice Way down in old New Orleans, in the heart of the Bocare When it's high noon at the Greasy Spoon And they're serving that special of the day Red beans and rice Red beans and rice Everybody's ordering mouth watering red beans and rice. Head north on ramparts and look for that sign. Sign says happy hour hotel, oysters on the half shell, buddy, put your money on the line. Red beans and rice. Red beans and rice. Everybody's ordering mouth watering red beans and rice. Everybody's ordering red beans and rice. Red beans, everybody's ordering red beans and rice. New Orleans is mighty nice, but don't forget the beans and rice. Red beans and rice. Red beans and rice. Well, everybody's ordering mouth watering red beans and rice. All you folks who live here know how really simple it is. You get somebody to roll over that bowl of chopped onions, and then you get a little Mr. New Iberia and some of that Tabasco sauce. You watch how that rice mixes in there with them little rubies. How was that? Want a little more? How's about a little jambalaya? with Vin Bruce, soon to be inducted into the Cajun section of the Country Music Hall of Fame. Vin Bruce and the Arcadians. Goodbye, Joe. Yeah. 
that's how we musicians sort of keep time to the music by tapping our feet or snapping our fingers? Well, that's also because we feel it. And we love it when the audience feels it too. And now I want to show you a lady who moves and the audience moves with her. I'm talking about the queen of soul, Miss Irma Thomas. I'd like to know how many visitors are out there tonight. I don't mean from Kenner. I mean from out of the city and out of the state of Louisiana. Now I'm sure when you came to the fair, they told you, make sure you hear some Dixieland jazz, right? And tonight you happen to wind up in here with all this rock and roll. Well, I don't want you to be disappointed by being in here tonight and not hearing your Dixieland. So I take this portion of the song and I do my version of Dixieland. Won't you come home to me, baby? Won't you come home? I'm on the whole night long. I said I'd do that sucking, honey. You just pay the rent. Cause I know I done you wrong. I can't you remember that rainy evening. I kicked you out. I went nothing but a fine to come. Lord, do. Well, I know that it's a shame. Bill Bailey, if you're out there, man, you better get home. Tonight we brought you just a small sample of what's here at the New Orleans World's Fair, and there'll be a lot more in the coming weeks. But the show's not over yet. We saved the best for last. This performer is a native of Louisiana, handsome, clean-cut, smooth, suave, and debonair. One of my favorite all-time entertainers. He's my mother and my wife's favorite, too. And in fact, they have all of his records. He needs no introduction, so take it away.
Get a McDonald's 1984 ABC Television Network. You can hear me.